Welcome back to the final tournament match review for this particular tournament that happened a couple weeks ago. All right, so this match is the winner's finals, I believe. Yeah, and this is against Rauschka. Um, this is where all my rehabit training that I've been doing the past week uh, comes into play. Nice. Missed the correct punish right out the gate. Fantastic start. Alright, I take the mental frames. Go for the meaty 443. Go for the spike okey. Oof, yeah, there I should have pumped the brakes just to see exactly what his mindset was at. Okay, oop. Okay, I, I gotta stop doing the 10 frame punishes there. Okay, frame advantage. He's mashing. Okay, yeah. Yeah, he's just not respecting anything. He missed a low parry by the looks of it, and he mashed after the down forward four, or the down back four with a really slow low. Alright, moved. Oh, there he caught my sloppy back dash. Okay, wall ender, shoulder. Okay, he missed the shoulder. Alright, I slow down the pace and I get up, and I missed the throw break. Sweet, gotta clean up those inputs. Oof, that was an unnecessary chase. There was no reason to overextend there. It was just backed up and reset the neutral. Okay, let's see. A low parry, okay, cool. This should get the wall. Back turn, meta okay. Okay, oh, that's unfortunate. Yoshi went the wrong way. Good punish. Wrong punish on the shoulder. There I wanted to test his fuzzy guarding because he was obviously fuzzy guarding that whole time. Oh, I should have pumped the brakes there. Okay. Oh, I shouldn't have gone low because he showed that he was fuzzy guarding the whole time. And I missed a throw break. Sweet. Ooh, I thought that was going to be a knee. Okay. Oh, somewhat of the right punish. Okay. Hop knee hit. Oh, I could have punished him way harder there. Okay, 1-1. One, one. He mashed after the 1-1. One, one. Wow. Okay, obvious double low. And the wall kills. Yep. One one punish once again. Sweet. Ooh, there I pressed after the 4-4-2, but I stopped myself and I just did it down. Uh, two down three instead. Okay, side step right caught his back one stuff. Okay, wall. He does not get up. Okay, I get caught. Back to two punish. Okay, there, there he was trying to go for his basic. I'm going to do the wall throw. No, the wall spat throw into the parry. And caught it twice. So I just did the move that he really can't punish with the throw or the parry, which is a sword attack. Okay, there I'm doing two down three just because like I know he's not ducking and low pairing the string and until he proves otherwise I'm gonna keep on doing it plus it also like if he does the back sway it'll stop the back sway stuff okay punish there take the frames throw break okay position change oof yeah so there I should have just did a while standing four with a chicken buffer in case he does the parry Instead of back, backing up for no reason and getting counter hit. Alright, so I said two. Oof. Okay, he did a minus into a down forward two. Okay, I should just give space there. Okay, same thing. I got up incorrectly there. Delayed wake up. Okay, get up safely. He went with a panic parry. And no throw break again. I probably die here. No, I don't. Alright, so I steal, steal my turn. Wall's gonna ruin this, yeah. Okay, take the ground hit. Good break. Okay. Oh, I did not duck that. I could have killed. Oh, and yes. The low. 
out of the size Devlin's there. I could have ended that round way earlier, but oh wells. Oh my god, okay. Raw down forward too. I probably tried moving there. My fault. Okay, he's doing normal Loki stuff. Okay. He was overly aggressive, so I did the full crouch down forward four. It's just four frames, but it counter hit, so I got my extra space out of the thing. Alright, just normal spacing. Okay, that was random, but it hit me. Okay. He mashed after the plus frames. Okay, that's good. So he mashed after the raise drive on block. Okay, okay, so he's into his panic mode stuff. So, oh, that was the wrong punish entirely. That's minus 12, not 15. Normal wall, Loki. Oh, the wall saved me there. Got peeled off for some reason. Oof. Oh, I was barely off on that one. All right, so, I, oh, I didn't wall splat. Okay, he ducked again. Okay, that was a good mash on his side. He dropped it. So, a neutral reset. I'm going to regen a little health. Do I go into rage? No, I don't. Oh, wrong punish again. Okay, I'm wrong punish again. Okay, I caught him mashing. Oh, <laughs> there was his gimmick from the first sets. Every time he does that delayed hop kick and he crosses over for any reason, he always insta shoulders. And I was ready that time. That shoulder was not going to track the back turn evasion spin. All right, so now, okay, same thing. He's insta-ducking again. Okay, calm you there. Shoulder again. A panic parry again. Another panic parry. Okay. It's the typical wall stuff there. Ooh, I don't know why I went for a throw there. That might have been a wrong input. Okay, back two is to check him for moving. Because he keeps sidestepping left. Okay, oof, I don't know why I did the one, one, two, one there. Should have just kept kept it simple. There it is again. See? He crossed over again and he went for that. So obviously he's being overly aggressive. Rage flash comes out. Alright. Okay. Oh, I did not walk that, nor did I duck it. And he's not ducking that either. Alright. Just trading blows. Playing turn based Tekken like noobs. Oh, that was a good catch on his part. I didn't duck that one. Didn't duck that one either. I'll, oh, he, he got the pickup on that one. Okay. I thought I was going to be safe because of the plus range, but nah. Okay, there was too much turn based Tekken. This is, this is not an RPG. We shouldn't be playing like this. Okay, back to the interrupt. Okay, good throw break. Okay, evasion spun his hop kick. He doesn't want, then I want to deal with the pokes, huh? Yeah. So a quick mid check. Okay. Again, wrong punish. That's minus 12, not 14. God, I, I'm never going to punish that correctly. Oh, there, I don't know what he did. And I missed the pickup. But he mashed after that for no reason. Okay, his normal key charge stuff. Okay, he wasted it. Yeah. And he ducked because he's twitch ducking every time he wakes up. Or you do anything that's plus frame, he just twitch ducks. That was a well-placed knee. Okay, evasion spin. I didn't get the punish that I wanted because I missed input. Got a jab out of the thing. Okay, wrong punish, but I take a small hit. He loves that weird option. Okay, well, oh, I didn't. I should have did it down 2-1. All right, so I'm taking basic wall Oki. All damage, okay, back to two punish, and I'm just playing keep away. Okay, that was a good, good splat. Okay, he wasted his rage, so I'm safe. And yeah, evasion spin on the hard reads. That's one thing that I started uh, working on during the last tournament break. Um, and I was actually doing back evasion spins on reaction. Just because, like, Yoshi's sidestep isn't the greatest. And the evasion spin covers way more distance and recovers way faster. And just it honestly just lets you punish things that shouldn't be launch punishable or heavily punished. So that's why I was doing a lot of raw back 
back evasion spins with the cancel just to recover earlier than normal. And I think I do continue that on in the, in the following set, um, which is now. Alrighty, with the magic of editing, here we are in grand finals. Uh, Rashka beat his opponent, I forgot what it was. I think it was non-entity, I believe, in a really close match. He was sweating hard from what I remember. Um, yeah, so in this set, I was just going to continue doing the raw evasion spins, the single one, on reaction. Oh, I was going to try to, and at least try to punish the down forward 2 with down forward 1-4. Um, and I think I was expanding on taking my plus frames where he cannot evade, he cannot like back sway most of the time, just because like I'll be heavy plus. And I do think it pays off dividends in the, in the longer set. Alright, good checks. Pack two to stop the moving. Okay, he pushed. Do I have floor break? Okay, yeah. Spike and Oki, and then another Oki. Yeah. Okay, so he just doesn't want to stay on the ground by the looks of it. Uh, and that was a misinput on my part. I went for a dash forward one plus two. And that was a really far wall splat, which kind of saved me there, because if it was a close wall splat, he could have broke the floor. So, luckily there, everything went my way. Alright. No duck again on my part. Okay, got impatient and got counter hit. Okay, now he breaks the floor. Four into spike. Okay, got lucky there. Crossed over, so I was able to get up off the floor. Annoying low pokes. And there, there is that setup that he always loves doing. Whiffs, whiffs something into the parry. Alright. Okay. okay, so I didn't interrupt the back 1-4, but I did catch the crouch dash after the floor 4. After the raw one. Okay, put myself into rage. Oh, good block on his part. Okay, it drops. So on plus. Yeah, he was hesitating a lot. That's why I went for the suicide there. Okay. He mashed after getting hit by the down 4, and I shouldn't have, I should have expected that, to be honest. Oh, that was the wrong punish. Okay, I'm just turn base tacking. He's gonna do something. Yeah. He didn't want to deal with that. Oh, I couldn't spin out of that one. Okay, there's the my option select against the four four three. He's pushing, so he's anxious. He 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 yeah. By looks like he doesn't want to deal with the fake pressure Yoshi has, and he's just mashing through everything. Which probably will make him be extra aggressive on this particular upcoming set and the following sets. Now that I think about it. Okay. Ooh, why did I go for that? He's probably just trying to see if he was sharp. But yeah, like he's like that's his habit now. He foot he instantly low parries after certain moves. Because he doesn't want to deal with the, the annoying pokes. Oh I did not tuck that. Okay, he yeah, he's blocking low after every exchange. Oh I could have flashed that. Uh, that was unfortunate. I could have flashed that four four two there. I mean the two two. Not the four four two. Okay, he opened up with a sweep. He's just back hashing all the way across the screen. Okay, caught his, in his entrance there. Go for the OK damage. And then I pump the brakes. 2 3, because I know he's going to back sway. Oh, I didn't catch that. Oh, I missed the pickup. That's unfortunate. Okay, good block. Oh, okay, so I did, I did punish it. And this man is mashing after 1-1 on a hit. 
with a full crouch sweep. Okay, I didn't catch the correct move. Panic parry. Oh, that was a misinput. That was unfortunate. And I gave up the round. Wah, wah, wah. Yeah, that was a misinput on my part there. It's like, I know he pushed the button there. Because like by, like by the looks of the replay at the bottom, I called him out and he's like, yeah. Because <laughs> I think he did 4-4-2 four, four, there. Oh, there I'm just getting impatient. That's like autopilot 101 right there. Yeah. Oh, and that was me holding, well, not holding back, pressing back too early during the animation of the four, three plus four. And I got the cancel and just gave him a crap ton of health there. Uh, either way, that was a lot of bio pilot. I think I, I, I acknowledged it in my head and I turned and I try to turn it off as much as possible. So that's why I went to an infinite stage because I don't want to give him any, pr any additional leverage with the walls, and I know he doesn't play well with walls at all, because um, he relies too much on backdashing and not enough on neutral control. All right, let's see. Okay. Oh, he ran them down forward too. Caught me. It's fine. Okay. He instantly charged in without even attempting to stop or anything. Oh, what? Do you, why does he keep doing the low there? And me not evasion spinning out of it. Okay, he caught my entrance. And there I was hoping he was going to do down forward one. But he didn't. He did the down back two. Alright. So catch entrance. Okay. It's ducted. That's good on his part. Oh, I didn't duck it again. Okay, caught his entrance with the shoulder. Cancelled, and I took the low, and I took the follow-up afterwards, hoping he attacks, and he did. Okay. Trying to regen health. Didn't punish it, so I backbashed. Punish that. Oh, and he mashed after the down forward 1-4. Um, I do think I keep on doing the down forward one four, and I see that he's doing he's reacting with buttons, and I do take advantage of that from what I remember. Okay, again, caught his entrance with the shoulder, faked it again into the low to see if he actually pushes a button. He didn't. Okay, caught his down. Ooh, why? Why would he hot kick there? <laughs> right, either way, I took my punish. Yeah, I'm not reacting with the back fours there. Okay, he wasted his rage. Man, he caught that tiny little window in between the two shark attack hits to actually get launched. Okay. Yeah, the evasion spin. Yeah, it was like, um, he, just like before, he was not stopping from his dash in, so he was going to do something out of it. So the evasion spin with the cancel, and cross dash one took the round there. Two down three. Again, he mashed afterwards. Yeah, it's minus one, but it has a weird frame recovery animation. It recovers way later than normal. Uh, well, way earlier than normal, sorry. Okay. Back evasion, good low, low block. Oh, I didn't duck that. Oh, I didn't punish the wall. <laughs> oh my god. Story of my life there. Okay, panic launch or hop kick. And then there again, caught his mash because he's over being overly aggressive again. So I'm, I'm just jumping in and taking advantage of it. Like he's not pumping the brakes when he has to. And he's just relying on buttons to try to get payoff on the exchanges. So now knowing this, he always goes back to his dragon's nest. So I know he's going to be overly aggressive. So what I have to do now is take his aggression and turn it on him. Because before, he was playing turn-based Tekken, and he's attacking after the down forward one force. Yep, there we go, see? <laughs> it's as if I can see the future. Okay, so wall. Okay. Does he get up? No. He went for the throw. I pumped the brakes because I was expecting a parry. He finally ducked after seeing me go into Kincho, and he got hit with the one plus two, and there, uh, I finally ducked the down forward one. Because that's only a natural string on counter hit, and it doesn't jail on a hit. OK, 
Okay, so instead of dealing with the back one four, I just power crushed it for some reason. Oh, I ducked, but I didn't punish. That's fine. Here he's being, he's taking too many turns. Oop, I missed my punish. Okay, we keep resetting. I take the frames, and there we go. Once again, he mashed out of the out of the down forward one four. I dropped the combo early to not give him rage, and then I give him rage a second later. Yeah. <laughs> so there, Yoshi wall stuff. Yeah. So now he's with his back to the wall, one one match away from losing. So he's gonna throw the kitchen sink at me probably. Okay, raw down forward two. I get hit. So basic wall. Okay, he goes with the stomp. Okay, do the shoulder to get him off me. Go for the low, it crosses up. And I don't know what I did there that got hit. Can't even tell in the replay, but I should have pumped the brakes there. Okay, he's going back to low pairing after every exchange. Then he takes the round, okay. So their autopilot kicked me in the butt, so I turned it off again. Like that's one of those things you get, you have to like practice in real time. It's like when you acknowledge your, your autopiloting, you just have to be like, yo, I have to turn this off. Oh, that could have been the wall spot. Okay, so here he's just pressing after every exchange, hoping for the whiff. There you go again. See, so he mashed again after the down forward one four, and yeah, took the match. So pretty much that entire set was just me fighting my autopiloting more than anything else, and pretty much just taking my frames where I could. Where I know that the window is airtight, where he can't mash, and the only thing he can do is parry, right? Um, but yeah, like there's still a lot of stuff I, I gotta work on, mainly the throw breaks and the down forward one three punishes or one four punishes on the down forward twos. Um, but overall, the it's good progress from the previous tournament. A lot of it was just self awareness and acknowledging it in real time of what I was doing wrong, and correcting it in real time which is usually the hardest part because like that's kind of like you fighting your emotions rather than you know it's like then being an, like taking an objective view of your actual gameplay like so i know exactly what i have to work on uh, moving forward leading into ceo in june i believe um yeah just pretty much take awareness into into account um well the self-awareness know exactly when I auto, uh, I just fall back into autopilot and instantly pick up on it and instantly turn it off. Well, I'll turn it off as best as I can. Um, and then go with the flow of the match, play the player, and then play the character, right? Oh, well, play the character and then play the player, right? Because you have to know exactly what you can and can't do against a specific character. And then you have to take into account after after the fact the tendencies of the, of the opponent, right? Um, but that all comes in due time. Like it's not something you can you can practice daily. The only thing you can really practice is how to play against the character, because you have to have seat time against the person to know the their tendencies and whatnot. And in bigger tournaments, like that's one of the downsides of making content, because you're putting your content out, so you're able to, so people are able to see your tendencies better than you can in the particular moment. So anyways, I'm rambling now. Uh, I want to say thank you guys for watching. Um, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Like the video if you liked it. Um, I'm going to be getting more content like this. I'm going to try to be going to more local tournaments in order to get more content like this because these because uh, these self reviews are really beneficial for me because I'm able to see all my habits and bad tendencies and pretty much make a list and give myself a to-do list of things that I have to work on uh, in order to improve as a player. So yeah, Squid Gang, thank you again and catch you next time. Peace.